Welcome everyone, Andy here and today you join me with another one of my Final Cut Pro tutorials. So today I'm going to be showing you a fast transition which looks like this. And without further ado, let's cue that intro. Okay, so the clip that we're going to focus on is this section where uh, the, we're looking down at the tree and then it fast pans into that kind of valley shot. So I've already got my two, say, two scenes set up here uh, and I've just done a bit of colour correction just so they look a bit nicer. Um, so let's look at this one. We are, let's just kind of cut it, I'm just going to cut it about here, delete that. And then we do that's a bit too much. Let's cut that out of there. Now, uh, this is the um, transition. So what I'm going to do is kind of, I want it to start about here. And then what I'm going to do is just click the scene and then just make sure you're holding shift down and then press B. Now what that's done is that's split the timing of the scene up at the top here. Now what you can do is select this, go to fast. Now I know you can do custom, but I'm just going to do something that's presets. Let's try eight and just see what kind of effect that gives us. I'm just going to zoom in. Okay, so now let's go into our next scene. And we're going to want to, I want it to sort of stop around where we get to see the valley. It's going to be about there. And I want it to start maybe about here. So I'm just going to cut some more of that scene away. So I wanted it to come in about here. Then what I'm going to do is make sure the scene is clicked, hold down shift and B, and then click the section next to the other one fast. And I'm going to do eight times. Uh, yeah, this one looks a little bit longer, but let's just see how this actually pans out. No pun intended. I'm just going to let that render uh, and speed it up for you so you don't have to wait. Okay, that's rendered. Let's have a look what it looks like. Okay, that wasn't fast enough. Let's try something a bit quicker. Let's go to fast. Um, this might be too fast, but let's just try it. 20, go to here, fast, do 20. Now remember, I've not done any stabilization on these, so they do look a little bit jerky, but this is just to show you um, how you create the effect. I'm just gonna let that render out again. Okay, let's try it again. So this is sped up now. Now you can tell some stabilization is needed. Um, I'm just going to cut these scenes a bit shorter because we don't need all of that. This will help with the rendering times and the same with this. Let's just cut it shorter. Let's try it again. Now you get the gist, but let's speed it up even more. So let's try 3000. Custom. Let's try 3000. I think it's a little bit jerky just because it's not got stabilization, but let that render out. Okay, let's see what it's like now. That's much more like it. So it's really fast. I mean, it could probably go even quicker than that. Let's try it again. See how fast it, your eye just can't see what's happening and they both merge into one. Um, with a bit of stabilization, some more effects, you know, you're going to get a really, really nice effect. See it again. Yeah, really happy with that. I mean, if we go back to the original one, I obviously spent a lot longer on that. But you uh, hopefully now have had a good insight into how I produce this pan transition. Okay, everyone, so hopefully you found that tutorial useful and you enjoyed that and you'll be able to implement that in some of your videos, whether that be drone videos, or it could be like a vlog style video, or B-rolling, anything like that, I'm sure you'll be able to implement it. So thanks everyone for watching, and again, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and keep up to date with future videos, and don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and comment below. Thanks a lot, see ya, bye.